Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Dr. Iyer, I'm with Residence Medical. We have a new high yield case for you. Let's get started. The case is about a 41 year old male who has HIV and is presenting to the emergency department with new onset severe shortness of breath. He's been having this shortness of breath for the last couple days and he's having a cough with it as well. He has HIV, but he doesn't take his antiretrovirals consistently. And his CD4 count is found to be 145 cells per cubic millimeter of blood, which is not very good. He has no other major issues and he's hemodynamically stable, but he's having a lot of trouble breathing. Based on this, and there's an x-ray given to you, what do you think the diagnosis is? And what's the treatment? And what would be the treatment also if he were allergic to sulfur? Don't forget to comment your diagnosis and the answers below. Like and follow, and see you tomorrow for the answer to this case. Did you get the answer right? I hope you did. The answer is pneumocystis gyrovecchi pneumonia, or they call it PCP pneumonia because it used to be called pneumocystis carinii. So you'll see a bunch of different variations of it. And the key x-ray finding that distinguishes this is the fluffy infiltrates that you saw in the image. Those fluffy infiltrates are called interstitial infiltrates, and they're very classic for a PCP or pneumocystis gyrovecchi pneumonia. The important thing to remember is that this constellation of symptoms, having the HIV status, having a low CD4 count, not taking their meds appropriately, and the shortness of breath and dry cough, and the lung findings, all together, tell you that this is probably PCP pneumonia. The treatment for PCP pneumonia is trimethrin sulfamethoxazole. But remember that this patient could have been sulfur allergic. So if you have a sulfur allergy, instead of giving TMPS and X, you give pentamidine. This is a very high yield thing that you should remember. And also remember the CD4 count is less than 200. They should be given prophylaxis with TMPS and X as well. I hope you learned a lot from this case and I'll see you next week for another.